time for Fisher Brad to show you how to put the reel in motion with the poles and the camera while recording fish approaching. Got the nickname growing up. It was chosen by the hometown folks when noticing his devotion. Traveling from small creek to the biggest ocean. He'll be catching every monster and feeling thrilled emotions. Whether it's summer or whenever water is frozen, he's always holding trophies up and getting vids posted. Hey guys, it's the Fisher Brad, and in today's video, I'll be showing off the lure known as the Arctic Spinner. It's the size 5 16th ounce. It's got a blue body, a blue bead, a blue skirt, and blue tubing over the hook. In today's video, I'm using the Runkle Titan 2 4000 size spinning reel. If you're looking for a new pure fishing reel, definitely pick one of these up. I'd like to say a big thanks to Arctic Spinners for sending me a variety of colors to try out for you guys. It really helps out a lot in showing you guys new products out on the water. For me personally, I found that the best colors to use is the chartreuse, the blue, and the fire tiger color. I always choose different colored lures based on the water clarity and whether the sun is shining or not. If the sun is shining, I always try to throw a silver or a gold color. And if it is very cloudy and very dirty, I try to throw a very colorful lure. The best way to use these lures that I found is to reel in as slow as possible. As long as the blade is spinning, the lure is working. However, I have even tried these lures in very high weeded areas and just increasing the speed will still get a reaction to bite. For the rod today, I'm using a Daiwa Revros 9 foot 8 to 17 pound medium action rod. While using Arctic spinners, I like to keep my rod tip pointed down. These lures are super easy to use. That's why whether you're a beginner fisherman or an expert, you should always have some of these in your tackle box. Oh, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Yeah! First one on an Arctic spinner. Yeah! Five sixteenth ounce Arctic spinner, silver blade, blue body, blue skirt. Woo! There he is. Oh no. Oh no. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Get him, get him, get him. Yeah! Hand over hand, perfect. New lure, baby. Well, at least I know that lure works now. If you wanna hold him right there real quick, I just wanna get a close up of that lure. Look at that, guys. I was casting that lure for only 10 minutes. First time ever. Got that giant, huge lake trout. What the heck? He's whooping us. Gotta get back on the board. When I'm using Arctic spinners, the time varies between swapping out each lure. It depends all on the species that I'm targeting. Normally, if I'm targeting coho, the prime bite time after they've been in the harbor for a while is within the first two hours. Within the first two hours of the sun coming up, I always change out the color of my lures between 15 and 20 minutes. After the sun has been up for over two hours, I then change out my lures about every 30 minutes. These spinners work very good in all different kinds of bodies of water. I've caught them in rivers, creeks, lakes, ponds. I've caught bass, pike, walleye. I've caught everything on these lures. So I highly recommend you guys giving these a try in the areas you're located in. Arctic Spinners also makes customized painted lures. So if you have a certain color scheme you'd like to try out, you can order it however you'd like. Oh, right there, right there. 